Hi there, welcome back. Logic Pro quick tip video for you here. I'm going to show you a feature that I use quite a lot, which is the import project settings. So I've got this blank template, this new track here, and let's say I want to load up some stuff in here from a previous project I was working on. I thought, oh yeah, that project had some quite cool synth patches and some quite cool drums. So I want to quickly import them into this session. I could actually go and load up that project and save the instrument patch or save the plugin settings and then export them and load them into here but it's actually Logic has a very quick way for doing this so if I hit F I get into my files folder here so let's just kind of drag this out so you can see this properly and I'm going to navigate to a project I was working on recently and I thought I want to load in some of those some stuff from that project and you notice with a Logic Pro project as soon as you click on it in this files browser here you get some options down here I could open this project or I can import from this project so if I hit import it's actually almost showing me the the project here in this list view all the all the sounds that were used or the, the content and or the plugins I'll go over here the sends the in and out the automation for everything so not just the actual tracks but all the auxiliary sends even the master here and these are my well, my auxiliary sends so everything and provided you've named stuff properly in that project you know what's what so I could look at this and go this bass sound here this is quite cool I want to load in everything from this bass sound so the content with a software instrument or a MIDI track the content is going to load in the MIDI files or the MIDI regions load in the plugin so I check that box there it's going to load up massive and the EQs I use for that massive patch in that project the sends the in and outs and the automations so with all of that checked let's go and we could replace there so we could replace what's here already with this or we could just go add and that's going to add it to the project so hit add it's going to import and because I checked the send box for this instrument it's actually found the auxiliary send that that instrument was sent to in that project so I can load up the auxiliary send as well which is really nice so I've ch chosen that option to do that and let's have a look in here it's loaded up this bass sound so it's kind of a massive patch with a lot of reverb on there and let's have a look as well it's also loaded up all the automations and it's remembered exactly how this because I checked all the boxes that were available it's remembered exactly how this instrument was set up in that project so it's been sent to a bus on the bus I've got some reverb I've got some EQ and some compression I've got some EQs on the track itself it's loaded up the massive patch exactly as it was in that project so you could also do this for some audio so say in this project let's wanna, we want to load in some audio and uh, this looks like it's a piece of audio and so for the content this time if I check that it's going to load in the audio regions select the plugins again so it's going to load, it, load up a channel EQ tape delay and we could actually go yeah automation but I don't necessarily want to load in the sends or the in and outs now I want to set up some new send or auxiliary channels for this audio track so with those selected again I hit add and it's not giving me the option about the auxiliary channels now because I didn't check those boxes over here so let's just have a look at this and it's loaded in the audio regions exactly as it was in that project so the audio region in that project was at bar 20 so it's loaded in that drum loop with all these effects on there which is just great very quick and very accessible way of just loading in various settings or instruments or plug-in effects chains from previous or other projects of yours so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you found it useful any questions please get in touch and thanks for watching